guys, today I'm going to be talking about my planner. I have been posting about it on my Instagram and a lot of you were requesting a video on it, so I'm really sorry if you have no interest whatsoever in planners, um, but I'm really, really excited about this, so I just wanted to make a video about it. So I don't want to ramble too much because I feel like I could very easily talk for like an hour, um, but long story short, I've seen everybody and their dog have a planner that is stinking adorable, and I really wanted one. I bought this one. This is a Happy Planner by, I think it's Create365, and it is from Michaels, and I had the 40% off coupon, so I think it was like 20 bucks or something. It wasn't that expensive. Um, I did look up different kinds of planners, and the reason why I decided on this planner was A, it wasn't $50, and B, it has the rings, and you can take the pages in and out, which I think is absolutely necessary for me personally. So this is the planner that I picked. I know that everyone has like the really fancy floral with the scripty things, but I saw this one, I was like, this is me. It's Be Happy, Be Bright, Be You, which I feel like is like perfect for me. It has teal on it, which I love. It's plain and simple. I like it. Okay, so I bought this planner in May, and then I realized it didn't start <laughs> until July, and I was like devastated. So what I basically did is I created my own pages. So this is May, so I bought it early May, and so from May until July, I have been making my own pages. So basically what I've done here is I printed off blank pages from Word. I measured the pages from the actual planner and I just recreated them in Word and I made a bunch of boxes. All of the papers here are from memo pads and basically what I did was just cut out little squares and glue them down. So this is the very first one I did. It probably doesn't look that great. Um, I also put in a little envelope here. What I love about these planners in particular is that these have the rings and you can literally just take out things and put them back in. I think that's absolutely fantastic and I would die without that, I think. So I have just a little envelope here. I like wrote a little note and put it in there. Um, the purpose for me to be planning is more for documenting my days, not necessarily to plan, but more to just be like, oh yeah, I remember when we had that game night or whatever. Um, so this is way more of a creative outlet for me than actual planning. So this is my Relicuma Panda Series spread. Then I did this one, which is all ice cream, and again, all of these are memo papers that I had or letter sets, and I cut them up and glued them down. I have washi tape, I have stickers. This is a memo sheet that I just poked um, holes in with my, um, I have this, I don't know what to call it, it's like a hole puncher. And this one is actually meant for the ARC planner, which I used to have a long time ago. Um, for work and I use this and it's perfect I can just stamp my or stamp I can hole punch paper put them in it's perfect so I have this one I have this um, bunny one with sweets and I had matching stickers to go with it so it was like perfect um, I have this little memo paper I did a um, Rilakkuma Bath series one. Okay, so this is when I started just creating it all on my computer and then printing it. And I actually really, really like this method because you can do whatever you want and you can create it all on your computer, print it and put it in your planner and you have a customized spread. So this is my Thomas spread for June and I just really, really love it. So the way that I've been doing it now is that I use one of the three blocks all completely covered in a picture and then I have two boxes um, for writing in. I don't usually have a lot to write in there. I don't do a lot of things. I have a really really boring life but I just kind of write in what happened that day. So like this day I was sick and my husband made me soup. So I just kind of write it down. So I think that this is really really cute and I'm really excited with how this came out. So from here on I printed them. So this is my Gravity Falls layout. This is a picture of me and my husband that I printed. This is my Gravity Falls layout, which I absolutely love. I love Mabel, so that's why she's prominently featured here. Um, but I put all the little characters on here, and then I just, I just really, really love how this came out. And then again, 
Um, I printed off this picture of me and my husband and then I glued it to a little paper and then I can just stick this on here. So again, that is why I love this planner because you can put stuff in it and it's like a scrapbook and I just am obsessed. Uh, this was this week. This was my pushing layout, which I love. I thought it came out really, really cute. And then this is this week, and I'm super excited. I get to go to Harry Potter on Saturday, so this one is all Hufflepuff themed because I'm Hufflepuff. So now I'm going to show you how I did this so that if you are impatient like me and you just want to have a spread and you don't want to buy stickers and you don't want to decorate your decorate it yourself like physically you can do it on the computer print it stamp it put it in here and then you're done so let's go to that this is the word template that i used to create my layout i'll put the link down below in the description if you want to download it so basically what i've done here is i have measured and recreated pages in Word. So all of these boxes are the same sizes as my planner and then I've made a little box that I'm going to cut around after we print it. Um, so you can really customize this however you want to. So I'm going to do a really cute Mickey and Minnie kawaii layout because I think they're so cute. So I found the stationery so I'm basically just going to go and find all the pictures that I can and copy paste them. Obviously, this is just for my own personal use, so to me it's fine to just use this to decorate my planner for my own personal use, um, but if you're going to be making these to sell, then obviously don't do that, but since I'm just using it for myself and I'm not really like selling them or anything, I'm just going to use pictures from the internet. So basically all you need to do is put in the picture that you want and then crop it down to the size of the box. This time I'm going to fill the middle box completely with a picture and then do the bottom and top sections for writing in all of my information. So I'm just going to crop this picture to fit into the middle section. I'm just going to repeat this on the other page. One has three boxes wide and one has four boxes wide for the week. So I just find um, pictures that fit that and crop them. Obviously you can do this in Photoshop, but I personally just find it works easier to do it in Word, but whatever you want to do, um, whatever's easiest for you to do. So I basically just repeated the same thing. Um, I found more photos and I cropped them, sized them down into my little boxes until all of them are filled. Then once I filled all of my boxes, I'm gonna change the font of the days of the week. And this is great because you can literally customize it to whatever you want. If you don't wanna have the days of the week listed, you don't have to have them there. You can kinda of do whatever you want. I'm just gonna add a solid color um, block for the background and then I'm just gonna go up to arrange and send that to the very back. I ended up adding a few more details and then you just go ahead and print it. So once you've printed them out, then you just need to cut it out because it is definitely smaller than an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Okay, now that we have everything cut out, we just need to poke the holes. So make sure that you're poking the holes on the right side. So we need to poke holes on this side and then this side. So I'm going to flip this upside down and put it in my little hole, hole puncher. Okay, and then we do this one. Okay, and then you can just put it in your planner. Then what I do sometimes is add some adhesive ribbon, which is the best invention ever made in my opinion, because I love ribbon, but who has time to glue it down? Because I don't. Well, clearly I suck at cutting ribbon, but I think that looks pretty adorable. So I also realized that this week that I did show you how I do the printing ones is the same week that my actual planner starts. So this is one that I had already done. So this is the paper that the planner came with. And then these are all, again, memo papers. And I absolutely love this layout. I can't wait to use it. Um, so this one has some wash. Actually, no, this isn't washi tape. This is paper from a letter set that I cut out. This is a sticker. 
And then I have washi tape down here, more adhesive ribbon, some stickers from a memo pad over here. So I'm really excited to start using my planner with the actual paper it comes with. So this is what it looks like blank. So let me know if you guys want me to do a video on how I do this one. Um, but again, I will put the link to... Oh, and then what I also do is I glue this page to this page so that they're together. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye!